very good morning students in this particular video this is uh, in this particular video we will studying about the some of the uh, some of the uh, basic functions of the file handling we have already discussed about the syntax and how to use when to use uh, what are the basic requirements when we are going to opt for the that particular functions but in this particular video uh, we will discuss about the practical demonstration and how it is going to be work okay so this is second lecture of uh, today so in this we have both theory and the practical matching part okay so 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 what 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 we are supposed to do in this particular what what we are doing in this particular uh, program okay so just just look look towards the basic concept of that particular program just let me remind you what we have already done in the file handling we have already done uh, how to open a file uh, how to close a file uh, what do you mean by the term file pointer why file pointer is important uh, why file pointer is called as a basic backbone of the file handling uh, uh, how to read write append and how to read write text files how to read and write uh, the binary files uh, uh, what are the functions which we are going to use in in this in the file and uh, what are the uh, advantages of using those types of the functions and why we are going to implement those functions into files and how and when we need to implement those functions now how and when we have studied about in the theory part and now this is basically how and when we are going to discuss in the practical part okay. so if so you look at the uh, starting of the program we have the two header files over there and then we have the obviously the main section which is from where the beginning of the program and then we have file pointer file name of the file pointer is fp and the name of the integer is n now we have already we have, we are already having a file called as abc.txt and we have opened a file in the read mode the moment we are opening a file into the read mode we we used r so we know that the f or f open will take the two parameters and the name of the file and the mode in which you want to open a file name of the parameter uh, one is uh, abc the name of the file and then the mode this is read mode okay and the definitely the result will be stored in the file pointer fp and if file pointer is equal to null obviously we have already discussed all those things then the, it will declare error opening file and then the file not exist and we have the exit exit condition exit true condition okay then we'll move out from that particular conditions okay and then if if fp is not null then then we have used a function called as the ftl ftl fp so now it will definitely return an integer okay that we have already discussed while we were discussing about the theoretical portion of of uh, functions of uh, functions used in the file handling so now it will depict and it will just find the current position of the file pointer from that particular file okay now we have opened a file into the read mode and it will tell us the current position of the file now the question arises what is going to be the current position of the file in this scenario keeping in mind that particular scenario only so now there must be a orientation in your mind and we have just opened a file and the current position the moment you open the file what is the first thing which we look into the file obviously the first character the first value okay and the current position of that particular value is always always zero yes exactly you are thinking the same okay the moment you open the file just just look towards any notebook if you open the first thing which you we need to root what we are supposed to root is the first character the current position is zero we have opened a file into the read mode okay all those concepts are taken from all those concepts are only belongs to the file handling okay just look we, just only thing which we need to concentrate in this particular program is that we have opened a file into the read mode we have opened a file into the read mode and the moment we open a file into the read mode it means it cannot create a new file it will just open a file pre-existing file okay and then 
it will tell you the position of the file and if there is no file it will tell you the error while opening the file the position of the file pointer is equal to this I'm getting my point guys this is uh, where what we have studied or what we are going to discuss the functions after and next the next come next practical demonstration we'll discuss we'll discuss about the other function okay so before going towards before going towards a next program we'll 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 discuss some we'll just recall some of the things which we have already discussed about the fc okay fc consists of the, the definitely the three things which we are going to pass into the fc point okay the first is fp fp stands for the file pointer offset stands for how many characters you want to how many letters or characters you want to skip as it has been mentioned over there and origin origin may be contains three value it may be beginning okay it may be current position or maybe end of file there are three things which can be done three possibilities we must start from the beginning of the file or the current position or end of file okay so if we want to go for the beginning of file we will use seek underscore set this is something which need to write in place of origin okay and seek underscore c u r if we want to go for the current position of file and seek underscore end if we move towards the end of the file out of these three things one should be written at the last part of the fseek functions okay and we need to mention how many characters we want to skip by men mentioning those characters at the offset part okay guys and fp always defines the file pointer which we have which belongs to that particular file from which yeah into which we want to seek certain values okay so it is better if you write these things into a piece of paper before moving to uh, moving forward to other practical demonstration so that you can easily understand and depict the concept by comparing these three values to the program okay guys so now this is a practical demonstration just look at uh, this program carefully so we have the two header files over there and then we have the main section then we have declared a file pointer then there is also integer n over there why we have used integer you should know that the value return will is in integer and then what we have done in this the same thing which we have done in the previous if you compare if you compare both the programs the 80 percent of the program will be same the only difference is that in this case we have used fseek and in this program we have not used fseek we have only used ftel in this particular program we'll just use f what what we are basically going to do is uh, what we are supposed to do is we'll just move our pointer to another position in this we have just uh, we we just ask ask f we just ask f tell pointer to return a value of the current pointer okay in 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 the next program which we are studying now we'll ask f tell to find the value after seeking we'll just find the value a value return by the ftel it it will return zero and then we'll seek seek to some other position and then ask ftel to find another value this is what we are going to do okay so fseek we have studied then we are just going to spin our concept concept against fseek and then just merge fseek after ftel and then again ftel a particular function ftel ftel file pointer to check the value just look at the program i think you should able to understand and uh, depict that concept in the easiest manner okay 
now the equation has already been discussed with discussed fully okay only only thing is you should able to understand that program just look at the program so now we have open again the same file abc.txt what we are supposed we have written uh, the abc text file contains many characters okay it may contain for example you have put uh, hello how are you all the characters are already paid into okay so if file pointer returns null and you know why when file pointer returns null it means the file doesn't exist okay in case of read mode definitely it will not create a new file it will give an error and then we have the exit true condition then f tell file pointer it will tell f pointer now what we have done so far is that we have just asked our file pointer to just to find out the value where find out the position where the first character and in case of read the first value is always zero and the position of the file pointer is zero up to this point our program is same as we have discussed previously now we have done now what we have merged into this program we have merged a function called as the fseek the moment we have merged a fseek program then the file pointer will take then the file pointer will take three values fseek fseek will take three pointer first the file pointer as we have discussed in the previous slide fp the file pointer name of file pointer belongs to that file then offset and then origin offset how many characters we want to skip okay and in origin we have the three parameters let's discuss one by one first we have the offset it means six then it will skip six character and now what will be the current position seek set if you look seek set means from beginning of file from beginning to six position and then again we ask file pointer with the help of f tell function that tell us where we are now okay then it will just open a file and then the seek six position and the tell the current position of the file and then we close it then we have again print the position of the file pointer and then we close that particular file in the same very simple way whenever you want to read anything from the notebook we'll just open a file f open we'll just read a file f read okay or uh, using a read mode okay and when after reading that particular we'll close that file okay the same concept has been implemented over there the only difference is that in this in those things in this case in these cases we have used functions okay f open f tell uh, f close you can all the and those file handling functions are included into the header file stdlib dot h okay then what is going to be the output of this particular function this particular program you are able to find out the output because now this might be the last program of uh, this might be the last program of file handling so you should able to answer that question tell me the answer guys what you are thinking just try to compare the your answer with this particular answer the current position the same which we the, uh, the first we have implemented and we have run the same program the current position of the file is zero position of the file pointer is zero and then we have seek up to six places and then what will going to be the current position of the file is equal to six yes okay this is all about the file handling function which we have already implemented okay hope you are getting best from what you from those particular video okay so uh, just uh, concentrate on those videos and try to implement those conce concept in in compiler form in compiler and find out the output on the prompt so that you are able to depict the better output and uh, in, if there is any error if you have any query please free feel free to ask okay so thanks for your patience listening thank you